There is growing disquiet among some residents of Old Pera in St. Thomas. They say a fledging tourism opportunity has been taken away from them. However, former Member of Parliament, Pernell Charles, who is at the center of the saga, says the business venture was infringing on his rights as a property owner and also violated environmental guidelines. Dwayne Anderson reports. What started out as a so-called hustle on a piece of land in Old Paris St. Thomas has descended into a police matter and a standoff between some residents and former member of parliament, Pernell Charles. Residents explained to our news team that they were operating a camping and adventure business known as Outdoor Vibes on this property. This video they shared with us showed that business was booming. This man said he was employed to the business. Come together, clean up the place and get together with the community and the community eat, sal get salary a fight straight straight them get salary because me work there my sister work there my brother-in-law work there and the shop at night time we go and buy like food a like a hollow call from the shop to out the night so the whole community help the community so but the residents soon found out that the land is owned by pernell charles Eventually, the founder of the enterprise got into contact with Mr. Charles, who gave the man permission to complete one last piece of business and then vacate his property. The former MP said he could not allow the camping enterprise to go much further because there were several issues, including an environmental worry. Where would that sewage go? So these are not things that could happen. Mr. Charles explained that soon after the venture closed, some unidentified elements started sending threats. They say, we were working on a property that is not yours. And you make the man gone and you're going to see. Within the next 24 hours, fire was burning in my, on my property. Mr. Charles says he has reported the suspected act of arson to the police. He showed us the cane fields that were burnt. Mr. Charles said those residents who were earning from the unauthorized camping project must contact him if they want new opportunities. I'm now planting cassava and pumpkin and melon on the property, particularly where they burned down. Come, come. I have a job for you. I have work for you. They don't want that work. They want a Roman jump up which I don't have to offer. As for those who destroyed his fields, Mr. Charles is talking tough. Yeah, he did. You can't burn me out. This sort of bad man business, we're going to burn out Pernell Charles. You're on a wrong mission. The former MP also stressed that the area is not unclaimed. He said the piece of land was disconnected by erosion from the wider property he owns. Mr. Charles, in the meantime, said the property will bring great opportunities to the people in the area in the near future. This property is slated to be the eastern tourism sector, the Negril of the East. There was an airstrip here before I came, golf course and hotels. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.